Well, as we get towards the end of the year, uh, we're chatting to uh, the doc from Neutrog. He'll uh, give us a surprising reason why you should consider using organic fertilisers, especially now before the summer really starts to kick in. Yeah, it's warm today, especially in Brisbane. Uh, You're looking at 39 and uh, maybe 40 in some suburbs. Uh, It's a little bit cooler in Sydney, but the heat wave is around the corner for us all. Uh, Good morning to you, Doc. Good morning, Graham. Yeah, there's uh, just many reasons why you should use an organic fertiliser. Obviously, they stimulate those soil microbes and that in turn helps your plants. However, one thing people often don't think about is that when you use an organic fertiliser, you actually help to overcome some of that water repellency issue, especially with uh, water restriction. So the inability of the soil to take up water is really down to waxy coating on your soil particle. Now, these come from plant mature, which hasn't been broken down completely. I mean, take that eucalyptus leaves as a great example or even soil microbes. And when microbes find themselves in conditions that are unfavourable, they start to secrete compounds which make the soil water repellent. So for sandy soils, as little as 2 to 4% of the particles need to be coated for water repellency. For clay, you need about 10%. Yeah, when when uh, soil uh, starts to uh, repel water, you've got to be really careful. What can be done to over overcome this sort of water repellency? Well, if you think about what's required to break down organic material, we very quickly come to the conclusion that what we want is to want those active soil microbes. So, in this way, uh, more of that organic material, such as the leaves, get broken down, and the bacteria and the fungi don't find themselves in an unfavourable environment, say from a lack of nitrogen. So if you're using an organic fertiliser such as Rooster Booster, that provides those nutrients, including the nitrogen. So it feeds your plants and it stimulates those cell microbes. I've actually used it on my compost, which often lacks nitrogen. to get that cooking and I've even thrown a few handfuls around the base of my gum tree to try to break down some of those waxy leaves. Yeah, that's, that's a good, uh, good deal. So you can use Rooster Booster more or less uh, all around your garden. Exactly. To be honest, I use either Rooster Booster or Sea uh, Munger. So Rooster Booster is a great all-rounder. It's got good nutritional value. It's made from screened and uh, poly- pelletized uh, and composted chicken litter. It's got a little added gypsum to help break down any clay. And because it's organic, you really can't overdose, or at least not easily. Now, obviously, if you're a lover of certain types of plants, then a specialist fertilizer is best. However, if you're like me and you grow mainly ornamental plants for their foliage, then I found Rooster Booster works on all of these. So whether it's my trees, my conifers, or even my box hedge. So, you know, for me, Rooster Booster is a product for all gardeners, even if they're lazy like myself and does want to improve soil wettability and feed the plants at the same time. Right. So I guess if you, you know, if you've got the azaleas and rhodos and camellias, you'd use kahuna. But if you've got, yeah, just a regular range of plants, uh, a product such as Rooster Booster is a great all-round fertilizer, which, if used regularly, listeners will help uh, to reduce water repellency of your soil, which is a real problem in these drying conditions, and it's going to get worse. And it still will feed your plant. Rooster Booster, you can of course uh, exclusively uh, get from Bunnings. And uh, if you'd like to be in the running to win a hundred dollar Neutrog voucher, hop online and join the Pooh Bar Club today at Neutrog.com.au. Thanks for that, Yui. No worries, Graham. Chat to you next week. Will do, Bye. pal. Cheers, mate.